One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> it's never gonna be okay. It's gonna be oh, bam, this. You're gonna have them to get those other glasses you brought, Taka. Good thing I brought multiple pairs. Why? Because I'm that unlikable, Scott. I'm not that much of a fool. <laughs> IQ came prepared to get punched. Every time I travel to the United States, I'm prepared to get my ass kicked because I'm gonna lip off. Speaking the of prepared for an ass kicking, episode 45. What? There's gonna be a whole lot of ass kicking preparation going here. Yep. Gotta gotta make sure those asses are prepared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This Gosh. part of the plot was actually a challenge to write because we had so many different factors happening. There we were so a lot of plots. things happening at once, but yeah. this is this is where Cell kind of goes to the background. Yeah. So what I remember, I was kind of even I was like I was kind of worried about that, but in the end, you guys, you know, this is why we're a writing team. We all work together, and we in the end, you guys were like, no, we'll be fine. I'm like, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, in particular, it's just, I always feel like any plot, it goes, it starts small, then it starts widening. And this, I feel like at this part, it's almost at its maximum width, these perfect, because you have so many separate storylines happening, and they all start converging after that. Yeah. When we were writing for season two, we also had a bunch of storylines that were going on, mm. but it was like a limited cast. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. they, and they were all kind of in the same area. The yes. same yeah. stuff was going on. But here, it feels like you have like three different storylines mm -hmm. going on, all with different people, well, with a is, wide the, range of folks. But this is what, the cell Android and cell saga had going on was there was a, a there was a lot of plots happening because of yeah. all the editor notes that were coming down there. So in the end, we kind of had to make sense of a lot of this. All I can say is you should have been there the night where we discussed how our time travel was going to work because that was a good five oh, hour yeah. conversation. At least yeah, for, there's because we had to we had to stick to a rule of time travel and then not deviate from it. I have a very dark theory that I'll share when we get to. Okay. Uh, Okay. Like the moment where it's poignant. Yeah, yeah. Right. For now, let's let's kick in because we got to introduce Episode the five. hypersonic lion tamer. The, the hype Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Z. I don't. I guess know. Know. it would be. Yeah. Toy animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. Both Fuji Z's are injured in transit or training, sometimes two at once. Wait. So you're saying he had a sub lab? Of course he had a sub lab. We all have sub labs. <laughs> Where do you I think, think I kept your mother's clones? clones. What? what? Don't, Don't go, go in the basement. The basement. <laughs> oh look! There's bombs and the androids. I could probably make a detonator for that. I don't know. Do you really have to blow them up? Why do you care? They're mostly just machinery at this point. Oops, except for the lady. Baby maker's still intact. Guess she's still useful for something. Oh! Dr. Brief just being a monster, monster misogynist. Yeah, no, uh, this is, he doesn't get a lot of screen time outside of here. And this is just where you realize you're just a, a total fucking monster. He's a monster. There's a point where you make enough money where humanity no longer matters to you. <laughs> that honestly, really that is, that is sort of the him. commentary with him. He is this, like... He, he is the richest man in the world. Yeah, One he of, really is. Is he actually the richest man in the world? And he this, made, and he this, literally created a pocket dimension. He destroyed the car industry. He destroyed, he destroyed the transportation industry. Oh, yeah. What if I had all the money Oh, instead? so you're saying he's a disruptor. Oh. He's a disruptor. So you're saying she still has a vagina? Yes. Just went, went from a nine to a ten. <laughs> I'd like to point out she was at a nine before he even thought he could have sex with her. Mm -hmm. But I'm again trying I to make, make Krillin, it work. <laughs> trying to make Krillin more likable here. <laughs> trying to make him like because it's really important. The, the definition of she's a ten, but she's got no vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, where's everyone else right now? Well, Piccolo and the others are searching for <laughs> this bit. Are all these Ride's still running. Why are the clothes still on them? This is supposed to be a place of fun. Oh, <laughs> I remember. Boy, that's going well. Now, my remember in the script room, I'm like, no, no, no. This because we got to this, we were laughing our ass off. You got to drag it out. This was supposed to be a place, a place of, of fun. fun. Yeah, <laughs> like, Piccolo, like, Piccolo is at his funniest when he's just yelling, like whatever oh, he's thinking. That's why Kai too is so funny. Want to see something cool? Okay. <laughs> Honestly. You just love screaming. I do. I, it's it's one of the things I am most proud of being able to do. I like it's it there is a skill to it without injuring yourself. I'm glad we had him for Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I really pat on the back, great idea. And trunks went off the This to scene. Find yeah. Notice me. No! <laughs> Best of luck there. And any It's not a Kai scene, it's a scene. Oh, he's just resting at Kame House. Probably still asleep. Ah! 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 The androids are here! Bring it on, you robotic sense 
I love that she was ready to throw hands. Yep. No, she was gonna fight him. Did I miss something? Man, the Goku's awake. Moses brought the Jews. By the way, my pantry's not full enough. It's good. Good line. So great. Goku eats as much as an entire like tribe of people. Oh hi. Ah, uh, hugs are nice. Don't tell me you're finally okay. Yeah. Huh? Never felt better. Wanna see? I love this bit. Wonder when she'll come back down. <laughs> I remember we had to fight a bit for oh, that. Yeah, yeah, we did. But as soon as it came out, I was like, oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> it's like when he pats her on the back. Come on, Chi Chi, be a He just yeah. doesn't know his own strength. He, he, he expands in strength so quickly that he has no idea how to adjust for it. Oh, uh, and, and also, okay, look, I know technically she wouldn't catch on fire leaving the atmosphere. That's but how it, hard he threw her. I, it's still funny The to velocity's it's still pretty funny. It's still That's funny. how strong she is. She came back with no scars, guys. That's how strong of a lady she is. She is very tough. She yeah, came she, back and like, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Torrified. Well, she has to get, like, she had to get railed by Goku. She's tough. She can she handle. She's built for tough. <laughs> Chi Chi is a very common name for a lady who can handle the tough and do her up for it. You gotta find yourself a lady who can handle Oh my handle god, hold on, up. sorry. I can't believe you took this thing off roading. This <laughs> thing barely handled. Is this filler? No. Oh, come on, AJ. I mean, the scene might be. Hey, I sure love lip syncing this part. Oh my god. This is the worst one. I personally enjoy this alternate route. It is dense with foliage and wildlife and Boo. New road created. And spending time with you, <laughs> but clearly you disagree. <laughs> Won't lie, sis. Kind of a dick move. Oh, come on. We'll take him to a zoo after this. How's that? You want to hit up the zoo 16? I want to see the parrots. Again, I love that they both care about him like a little brother. Yeah, because they, like, they feel empathy for what Dro did to him too, even though it's a different, very different relationship. It's less empathy, but more that they see him growing and that they see he cares about things. It's like, oh, come on, I'm he's sorry, buddy. He's just like them. Because ah. they're under Jero's heel, and that's why they took him along. Because, yeah, you I mean, you're in the same boat as we are, man. It is very interesting, though. If you think about it, so she blows away that forest. But then when she finds out that it affected 16, she tries to like, okay, look, how about this? We'll go to the, like, we'll go to the zoo. And not... that's her, that's her doing something bad, but then feeling a little bit of remorse for it. It's, it's the, well, it's it, showing that how, it, even, it, that all the bad things it, they do keep tying back it, to him. We'll talk a lot about this, but in the Trunks, the history of Trunks movie, they don't have Android 16 to ground them. Yeah, exactly. We, we talked about that a bit previously. Yeah. Oh, you did, you did? Well, that's the thing. Yeah, because he, he's, he's ironically the heart of the group, despite being the actual machine. I, I, yeah, I know. I, I, I love I that. Our version, and I look at two distinct things. Sorry, let's take away from this: him and Yamcha, because Yamcha not dying, he actually gets everyone away from danger and stuff at the beginning of the Android Saga. And I think he's actually the balance maker because they also think that he's Goku and attack him first, outing themselves where they are in that moment. If Yamcha had killed himself, he would not be there, and they might have actually gotten the drop on Goku. Oh, so how could you make that face mad? Look at him. He's such a baby. Look at that guy. Look at baby boy. He's in fact a baby. Some good sound mix in there, Scott. Goku, you have missed a hell of a day. Oh, I know everything. I learned it in my pirate dream. <laughs> I like to point out that that is literally just what happens. Yeah, I, they he, do this. And, too and often. we actually did that in the dream too. Actually, you should probably wake up. The android, like, he is getting information explained to him in his dream. Exactly. I. It is remarkable that the show, like Toriyama, was like, I am not going to have a scene it's, where it, he everything gets explained. It's the to same him. reason he could read minds as soon as he got to Namek. Are you? Can you do that again? I won't. I. Yes. But I never. But now, will. But now he can do it passively. Yep. He's just absorbing information in his sleep. I was having a ninja dream too, but it ended. <laughs> the joke there was at the time, Naruto had, like, the original Naruto Shippuden had just ended. Yeah, mm. well, the, the manga ended. It's all, yeah. it, just like Dragon Ball, it's all Naruto. And then right. Bort came out. Good yeah, old Bort. Bort wasn't a thing yet. Bort was when, coming. When this episode came out. I am not 1,000% sure Bort wasn't a thing yet. 
I, I don't they were the, planning I don't board. think the first Bort movie came out because I think we saw Naruto the last in theaters the year this came out. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, the and then this, Bort came out the year after. Naruto had just ended. Yeah. Mm. All right, now listen. I know you just woke up, so yeah, I was out of permission for a while. Permission. I really ought to get back to training. <laughs> <laughs> so I can fight Cell. <laughs> what? Who I know now. If, if you worry about Gohan, I'll bring him along with me. <laughs> the worst thing to say. Fine. Huh? Huh? Go ahead, go train, take Gohan, fight your evil android bug monster. But I want you to promise me one thing. <laughs> By the way, I'd like to point out that when Goku goes, huh? Does that imply he kind of might know? Like, yeah, he yeah he understands that like this is different. What's yeah, going on? like does he un does he know that maybe his reckless behavior here might not be quite in tune with what Chi Chi wants. Yeah, but but he sees it as kind of a game, I think, in his own mind. Where Maybe, like, yeah. This, this is just how we are. Uh, like, Saiyans, am I right, honey? Yeah. <laughs> At least I'm not okay. Vegeta. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's that? I want another baby! Hmm. 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 Hey, bye. All right, well. Was that a yes? It, it wasn't, wasn't a no. no. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, bye. Thanks for swinging by to pick me up. Here we go. What were you doing at Bulma's house anyway? Oh, just dropping off the blue gina. I mean, bad Prince. I mean, thanks for swinging by to pick me up. Mm. This is bad. We can't <gasps> keep running after Cell. Every time he slips away, we lose another city. Don't be so melodramatic. Worst case scenario, we wish people back with the Dragon Balls. Uh, uh, yeah. By the way, I really love the musical sting there. I this was mm -hmm. the arc where I really played with the music a lot. Yeah. No, you more. can tell. Dude, like, your specific design is on point. Yeah, seriously, this is what like, you for I, real. I do want you to know that we all jo we we joke, but like the reason why this is so good is because you're. This is like this is professional television caliber sound mixing. Yeah, you pour your goddamn soul into this shit, dude. Well, speaking of, in the shot, um, the uh, background is completely new here. I didn't know that. Oh, dang it. Uh, oh God, what? So remember how Kami and I fused? No. I like the TN puts and it together immediately. How we used to have Dragon Balls. Holy shit! You still? I'm still confused. Yes. The Dragon Balls don't exist anymore, Krillin. Oh! Okay! Dude, don't worry. I still have the bunker. Why don't we have Goku? I'm taking Gohan. Bye. What? Hadn't added the pop yet, but that's such a good scene. By the way, oh, can we, can we, can we go back just frame by frame? I, I need to show something because okay. this means everything to me. Okay! Dude, don't worry. I still, still have, have the, the bunker. bunker. Why don't we have Goku? I'm taking Gohan. Okay, pause. All right. So here, I actually had to make a version of the background without... Oh. Them there. Mm. I want to see if I can. I... Fuck. Yeah. No. It's like a frame. Yeah. Yeah. What? Uh. Good news. We, we have, have Goku. Goku. Bitchin, let's go hang at Kame House. Oh, good. We'll have to see if he's carrying. Carrying what? Oh yeah. I'm asking if he's got any grass on that island. island. Well, yeah, no, but, but it's probably covered, covered by, by that house. house. He's asking if he has any pot. I don't, I don't know, know probably. probably. I mean, he knows the Mafuba. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what? By the way, <laughs> I love that Nail doesn't know what What's the Mafuba that? is. The what? Also, I don't know why we used Mafuba, because the dub uses evil containment wave. Well, we also use, like, Kienzon. Yeah, okay, and... yeah, but here's the thing. People know Kienzon, and even if they don't, they're, they, they when they see it happen, they must must just think, oh, Kienzon, Distarto Dis. They're just using there's the Japanese there's, name. There are certain names. But if, if you're not showing them what the Mafuba here's is. Here's the thing. If you know what the Mafuba is, that means you've watched Dragon Ball. If you've watched Dragon Ball, you understand that the Mafuba is the evil containment wave. If you don't know what either of those are, you haven't seen it. To hardcore Dragon Ball, the first series fans, the Kami Piccolo jokes are a fucking amazing. It really, that, those jokes are really for like hardcore people who really like Journey to the West Abridged. I'm just really glad that uh, we get to make a lot of jokes about their history, that's mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's this, that's it comes down to you being such a hardcore and, fan of the original series too. I am, and, yeah. and here we get to have a bit more of the Goku Vegeta dynamic. Oh, and, and another shirt coming up. Yeah. By the way, there are people, and maybe I've said this before, but I just want to address it again. There are still people who think that we wrote lines to be shirts. No, we wrote lines, and then we're like, that would make a good shirt. Yep. Yeah. After the fact. By the way, it was never a yep. 
This is going to be a shirt after we put, after it goes live. Well, it some, goes some, li sometimes it's simultaneous. I am the hype was that. I, I, in my in my mind, I remember going uh, thinking after we came up with I'm the hype. That if we make a shirt of that, that we'll have to see how the joke lands because so, it so, comes so, down to how like, the joke lands. Yes, yeah, so, like I mean, we always wait for people's reaction. Yes, mm. but like a lot of times when we come up with the lines, like that's a good line. Mm. I think that's going to land well. We should think about a shirt. Yeah, I mean, it happened once or twice, but this idea, just hearing people be like, oh, just coming up with another one-liner for a shirt. I'm like, what the fu- No, we write jokes! Yeah, and, I, I just- I write jokes. When I read that, I'm just like, just... How, so it's, it's crazy that they're acting like they were in the room, but got it all wrong. It's odd. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people assume a lot of things. I know, and it's really annoying. We assume stuff. Huh? What just happened? Goku had Gohan? I'll fill you in later, Gohan. Hey, Trunks! How's the training coming? I don't know. Let's see. Hey, Dad, do you want to train with me? Fuck off! How about that, well. I, words, by the huh? way, I do. I was playing Trunks more and more cynical as yep. the show was going on. Um, I've just been like, I don't even, I don't what even know what I'm doing anymore. anymore. Like, what is this? I, I remember at some point we just joked in the scripting room with his Trunks going. I'm gonna be honest with all you guys. You're all crazy people. You are all sort of. Uh, you are all a rainbow of terrible people. Except for different you, Gohan. reasons. Yeah, except for you, Gohan. Now I get why you're the only one, but I feel like I dealt with the most effed up and version of you. And maybe you, Piccolo. You haven't done anything to hurt <laughs> me yet. <laughs> It's because I'm yeah, talking to voices in my head. What the fuck? Okay, anyways, guys, so the point is everyone else- I don't else, even know you. Yeah, it's, it's fair. So everybody else, I just want you to know that this was an overall negative experience for me, and I wish I had not done any of this. <laughs> but you're welcome for saving you yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, but you are welcome. Bye! I like him. Ooh, As he leaves, I like words, him. Huh? It's a good son of mine. I love that Goku's the only one that can talk to him like this because Vegeta hey, can't beats. beat him. <laughs> I heard you lost your fight pretty bad. <laughs> but you know what they say, Vegeta. Oh, by the way, I like two times in the same episode, someone starts with a grunt that then escalates yep. into a full vibration. And it's both Goku's fault. <laughs> yeah. When you fall off that, that horse, horse, you, you get right back up and, and you eat, eat that horse. horse. Come eat, eat that, that horse, horse with me, Vegeta. Vegeta. What the hell are you on about? Oh, I just found a place where we can do a whole year's worth of training in a day. I'm listening. It's up on Kami's lookout. Although now I guess it's just the lookout. Either way, they call it the hyperbolic time, time chamber. chamber. He back. The fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 oh. Vegeta's, is, Vegeta's response to the scary genie is accurate. The fuck are you? What on earth species are you? I've never seen. He senses the danger. So 18, what's it look like in there? It looks like Goku's wife is a Chinese princess. <laughs> Seriously, I'm glad she's my size, but who wears this junk? I mean, is Goku you do now. there? Oh no, place is empty. Devoid of both people and taste. <laughs> huh, didn't figure Goku Jabs. was a runner. By the way, I'd like to point out <clears throat> that Chi Chi had that outfit. Yeah. Mm. And I want to, oh my god, is there, oh, I wonder if there's art. Of is, people, is there a shot of her in it? Yeah, hey, I wonder if there's any fan art of people drawing Chi Chi in that outfit. I would love to see Chi Chi in that outfit. Well, if I were a guessing girl, I'd say they're a Kane house. But that's like the second place we'd look. Confirmed. That is the second place we shall look. Hmm. But it's on an island, so we can't take a van. Oh, thank God. So we'll find a boat. A boat. No. Pardon? We He's standing up for himself way. now. Now we do it my way. The bird way. We fly. I love that shot. <laughs> we fly. <laughs> I mean... Kind of. It's the we fly. We, it's the downward it, it, chains it, it, at the it's end. The, it's the angle, the shot. We, we fly. fly. <laughs> By the way, I am so glad that a boat is a huge part of Seventeen's character right? in Super. That okay? So channel. the park ranger thing, we we actually we, we knew about that because of interviews. Yeah, because yep. of the interviews, interviews with Toriyama. Some people thought like we had guessed that, or or somehow it had influenced. By the way. No. I, I assure you, Abridged had no influence at the all. The only on. influence I will claim that we ever had is that shot of Popo after Vegeta breaks mm. shit. I, I, I would argue that that is the closest thing. But I will say, I will say, uh, on the other hand, um, it is really, really great that out of nowhere, a boat is a big part of Seventeen's character. So when he comes back later, never did get that boat. I never did get that boat. Yeah, so I'm so happy with that. <laughs> 
More Dragon Ball online. Also, here, uh, was called the room of spirit and here you see Mr. Popo be like he's not talking the same way because he is a little bit more depressed. Yes. Oh yeah. Good. Good. Now, to point that this out. was it's, actually it's, big... it's, it's one day after Kami's gone now. So this is this was something where, like I remember when we were writing like he had, I think Scott was like I think you both were like he has to be sad because Kami's gone. He loved Kami. Yeah. It was it was definitely more his push, but I I heavily agreed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and and it made sense to me because once Dende gets there, then he can be yeah. happy again. That missing the missing green man in his life. You know yeah, that, he, that he doesn't he doesn't have a guardian to like got, chill out with. He's yeah, got exactly. to chat with. So he doesn't got anybody to smoke up with. Mm -hmm. Somebody to somebody to upset. To have a little green get attention with. from. Yeah. Yeah. I said that because you kept mispronouncing it. Well, I can do it. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, yeah, I guess we can pause again. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I, I was gonna, I was, I was gonna point this out. We originally, um, we have him point out that the original name of the hyperbolic time chamber is the Room of Spirit and Time, mm -hmm. which you know doesn't get used. I don't think almost at all in the dub or anywhere. Um, so. Uh, we were able to nod at that because Papa told Goku it was called that because he, because could he couldn't not say couldn't say it as a kid. And as we're about to see, Hyperbola Mind Chamber. No. Hyperglycemic Crime Chamber. You get one more. Hyperbonic Crime Chamber. <laughs> hmm. And yet the in one that would be most popular is Hypersonic Lion Tamer. Point two four times that of this dimension. In Goku terms, one day out here, one year in there. And only two of you maggots can enter at a time. Wait, how long have you known about this? Since I was a kid. Then why didn't Krillin this is our edition. use it to train against the Saiyans? Why didn't we use it to train against the androids? They had other training. Besides, they most likely would not have survived. I threw Goku in there once when he was a kid. I almost, I almost died. died. Mm. Then the boy <laughs> and I will go first and save you two the trouble. Move it, boy! Help me! Help us, <laughs> You too, best buddy! Huh. You know, you don't really seem like yourself today, Mr. Popo. Uh-huh. Mm hmm It's really good. It's a good addition. It really was. Get some depth there from it. Sure let, let the, the right, right one, one in, or you'll, you'll be, be dead. Not today! That's the connection! <laughs> The unknown creature continues its terrifying siege across our nation. I get it, he's absorbing people! I'm trying to stop it! <gasps> Maybe you should get some sleep like everyone else. I'll sleep when I'm dead! I can help with that. Uh, wake up! <laughs> oh man! I had the craziest dream! I love this, the same Joe stings too. Well, the androids are here! Yo. <laughs> We're here for Goku. Son of a bitch. Son Goku is not here. Son, Son of a bitch! <laughs> you heard him. Goku's not here. Oh, I heard him. We're just not very happy about it. Right, 16? Son Goku is not here! Exactly. And we came all the way out here to kill somebody. So you've got one of two choices. You can either tell us where Goku is, or, well... Or what? Or we kill you. Oh, oh my god, god. you guys. <laughs> hey, team, you come here. here. Oh, how's it going there? Hmm. Uh, excuse mm. me, androids. If you're going to fight, could you please move it off the island? It's quite literally the only thing I own. That's fine. But when I win, I'm blowing it up for funsies. Hmm. All right, then, follow me. <laughs> There's a series of uninhabited islands over there. How do you know that? <laughs> you three stay here. I'll handle this. Okay, I'll space book you later! So, if he fails, we're all gonna die, right? Basically. And we have no Dragon Balls. Hope training's going well. Here we go. Uh, holy... This place! Just a great it's effect. Nothing but a white void! I'm loving the sound. I, this is, my he's head, thinking it. Yeah, he's my head can't that he's thinking it, yes. which is why it doesn't echo that way. Yep. I can't see where it ends, or even where it begins. It begins at it's the door. Overwhelming. I need time. Time to adjust. Time to. Ready begins now. Slap. <laughs> you weren't ready. Uh... Get back up. By the way, I had to um, use a shot. <laughs> like that shot actually exists when Trunks has longer hair, but you mm. can't see it. Luckily. Um, also. I'm a really big fan of the uh, that effect that I did. That it's the, the swirling, yeah. like oh, that, the, the way I, it kind of echoes around you. I have not heard this on a headset, so oh. I did not actually hear that. It's almost, it's like spinning in a circle, in a circle. I'm yeah. not, I'm not gonna lie. The best way to enjoy the show is with a headset. Yes, it is. It's because of all the cool sound mixing you did.
Yep. Oh my god, this is one of my favorite stingers. It's such a what the fuck for everybody. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> soon. <laughs> All mad scientists are evil, guys. I don't want to tell you. <laughs> I, so, uh, I, I, we tried to make it more and more obvious that he was cloning his wife, but some people still didn't even get that, even after we said yeah. your mother's clones. Yeah, uh, why don't you age? Your father won't, won't let, let me. me. <laughs> yeah, horrifying. I guess the implication is, like, the gilf died a long time ago, and he just keeps every couple months brings just out a new one. It just keeps either replacing or using the cells from the infant ones to de-age her or something. So what I'm actually assuming is, um, he's using the cells of the younger ones to keep her, like of the children to keep her young. Mm. Um, either that or he's like growing them to a certain age and then putting her brain in that other body. Ugh. Yeah, yo, look. They're all some kind of horrible. Listen, they're, if they're Jordan all horrible, Peele wants this concept, but, he can have it. <laughs> honestly, I'm I, not sure which option is the least horrible. It's, pr it's probably liquidating the babies and injecting them into his current wife. Still horrible, but I think it's the least horrible. It's <laughs> all horrible. <laughs> Dr. Brief, the biggest monster in all of Dragon Ball. <laughs> that, that was our inside joke. It's like, let's make him the worst. Yeah. Yep. Like, the worst monster. Yep. He gives us something different aside from him just MacGuffing everything. All the, oh, I'll take care he, of that big problem. He cool. Was, he's actually largely inspired by Reed Richards meets uh, oh fucking Venture, uh, Rusty, Rusty, Rusty Venture. Venture. Ah, um, yeah. But with zero moral, uh, like no moral. No compass. morals whatsoever. No. But yeah, uh, this episode is actually one of the shorter ones this season. It's because like. Uh, when we were having that debate of whether or not to add the uh, Krillin scene in there, the, the so at the airport thing, which would have put bumped this up to like 14, 15 minutes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but that it was never going to fit, so we just cut them into two separate pieces and well, made it his dream. I, I remember when we were talking about it, it was like because we initially we were thinking about doing some kind of horror concept with it, but like the whole thing is we couldn't just hover on it nonstop. Really, we, we wanted to cut between the other things. And there's no good place to cut well, in cut, here to interject. Cut, it. cut during a dream doesn't make any sense. Either. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Cut, yeah. So this was why this. I always look at these couple episodes as like I think where we had to do a, kind of like a hat trick with writing a little bit to kind of get everything out that we wanted to. But it. I look back at this and I'm just really proud of all the time we spent in the scripting room making it work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, next episode we get to my personal Ooh. favorite fight in all of Dragon Ball Z. It's real good. And a lot of people's favorite Piccolo line, the one that gets quoted to me the most often, mm. other than I'm looking to it. Mm. But we'll get to that Let's... next time on this thing that we're recording. I'm going to slap the taste out of your mouth. Ha 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 ha!